Hi everybody! I have a haul to share with you today as well as some organizing that I did. Um, if you watched one of my haul videos that had these um, zipper top um, storage bags, these came from Altenew. I believe they had a sale on these and I bought a whole bunch of them not knowing exactly how I would use them. Um, I realized that these are those um, thinner plastic uh, stamp storage um, pockets. You can see this is the popular one um, that is available today. I buy mine from Amazon actually, some um, from the checkout store I think, because they're the cheapest that I've seen. But you can see how um, in relation to size they are. So they're the same width, but they're just a little bit taller. But because these are zip um, zip top bags, you can fit a little bit more um, thickness into them. Uh, I don't use them for my um, uh, stamp storage because um, getting them in and out of the pocket is a little difficult, difficult because most stamps are right at that size where this becomes a problem. You know, the edges become a problem, putting them in and out. So to avoid all that, I decided I would use these to store um, my shaker card bits and pieces. So this one, I don't actually, I thought I had the die for this, but this is a balloon shaker pouch for an MFT die. I'm not sure what the set is, but I thought I had it and I was looking for it couldn't find it so right now it just houses the balloon shaped ones um you can see this one's the aquarium yeah so i put the die in with the actual shaker pouch because that type of thing probably will not fit well inside of one of these but it fits great in here because some of the items i have quite a few more in the collection so this one is you know the hearts from mft in a row and a lot of these are mft but not all of them and i even put the stamp set that goes with the other heart shape that's in here that you can use for shakers. And so this one is the lipstick. No, this is the nugget, um, the three nugget shaker, not shaker, container, plastic um, domes for that. So you can fit three of the Hershey nuggets inside of this. Um, and there's two sets of pouches in here. And then here is the, the die to, that cuts the shape for it. Um, so that's kind of what I did. I wanted to share that with you. Um, this is the lipstick one. So this one holds chapstick. Um, you can buy the chapstick and put it in here and gift it, you know, on a tag or something like that. So there's the die for that. This one has a little bit more. This is a shaker pouch for a um, wine glass. And the die is in here as well as some uh, bottle um, tags and then there's even I think there's even some uh, word dyes in here so they kind of all go together so if I wanted to make a shaker with the champagne or the wine um, wine uh, glass then I could make a whole card because it's all themed and then the last one are, is this um, jelly bean soup um, star shape here and these are the pouches I bought several pouches and I just stuck them in here um, so that's what I did, and if you're wondering, these are in a Dollar Tree bin. Um, so this is a dollar, and I just put them all in here like this because they fit perfectly. So that's my little share. Um, on to the haul. So I've been buying some things from Dish Bash Groups. This is, that's a card that I have not finished. Um, this is uh, a Stampin' Up, what do you call it, Paper Pumpkin? So the person who sold me this had had multiple kits, I guess, and she sent me some extras from another kit in addition to a full kit that was never opened. So I really bought it for the stamps. It's a rabbit um, head, basically, and you get some eggs and sentiments. But there's uh, little bags in here to make the little rabbit um, head. So you can stamp on these pouches. I'm going to open it up. So you guys know what I'm talking about. Oh, well, here's the picture. Maybe I didn't need to open it. So if you look at the picture, it's got this little bag here for the rabbit. And you've got the face and the ears. And I bought some of these pre-made before from, I think it was from Target. And um, so when I saw this kit for sale, 
in a dish dash group, I thought, oh, I'll pick it up because I only had a few of them. So I also purchased this LDRS die. It is a little um, girl's dress. You can make a card with this or you can make a banner. Um, but this is from LDRS Creative. So this was a used die from somebody. I bought uh, these three dies from the Avery L release. These came from Scrapbook Pal. Um, you only need to purchase 25 to get um, $25 worth of merchandise to get free shipping. So it's a good thing that I only had these few. I thought I had placed this all in a Simon's stamp order. Then I realized I never finished the PayPal. <laughs> um, something could stop me and I thought I had paid it all and then didn't end up actually ordering. So I went back and got these from Scrapbook Pal, which was cheaper anyway. Mm, my order was much bigger from Simon Says. It had the coupon code in it too that would have saved me some money. So this is a giant um, wave. It would actually be reversed once it's cut out, but um, you get the word hello, hi, and then a circle here and then a huge wave or a swell as they call it. Um, summer scene is what that's called. This is just a bunch of little waves you cut out of a circle that's kind of wonky. Um, sea scene die. And then this is a stamp that's called swell. So those are my um, Averell purchases. I purchased two things from Sugar Pea Designs. Isn't this cute? This little card comes in there. Um, here is the name of the company, Sugar Pea Designs, and I purchased directly from their website because this, um, item was not available from some of the stores that I normally shop from, but yeah, th this is another vinyl record player thing. I do have one from MFT, and I think I have one coming from Honey Bee Stamps, maybe something similar. Um, but the reason I purchased this is because this stamp has, um, this right here, which would be like your recording, um, volume, uh, settings. Um, I don't have one of these and I thought it would be fun to, you know, um, uh, make some musical related cards. And I have, um, several family members that actually are into music, um, not producing or anything like that, but, uh, they play instruments. Um, and then of course... Everybody I know in my family's older, the older generation, they know what these are. <laughs> Actually, they still have these. <laughs> so I got um, the stamp and die set that um, go together. I thought it would be fun to have this because you could have like a, you know, a 45 versus a 33 um, record size. Um, so that's why another reason why. And the other sets that I have from who had it out? MFT. I'm not sure if it's the same size. Let me pull that if I've got it right here. Um, yeah, this would be the one, right? Uh, yeah, here's the Avery L one. And I did order the stamp set for this, but you could see it's totally the different size. So this is, um, Avery L pulled out one that um, makes the vinyl sleeve. And this is how big your vinyl record would be. So it's a different, wholly different size from that. And then here's the MFT one. Um, you could see there are way different sizes in terms of, you know, their vinyl record. Um, this is for a turntable, but of course that's the record. So, um, you know, difference in sizes, um, some variety there. And you can actually cover a front of a card with that. I will be putting these all together in this pocket. And these pockets I get from uh, Ellen Hudson because these are big stamp pockets and um, they're made from vinyl. So they're a lot thicker than those other, other brands. Okay, last thing I got is some more paper. These, this is Stampin' Up! paper. They're um, from folks that are selling what they have in their stash. This is Pink Parouette. You know I love pink. Um, this is powder pink, which I think is retired now. So um, I wanted to get this because of my exercise I did with the um, stamp market colors, the um, 
powder pink is one of the colors that I've uh, set aside the ink color for. And then this is Summer Starfruit, also one of the colors I've set aside. And then this is Emerald Envy, one of the colors. So I've been collecting the paper for it, although I already have the ink because I, I never really bought... I don't buy too much cardstock from Stampin' Up. It's a, it's a little bit thinner than I would like to use for bases, but it's good for layers. So um, I'll use the same base, but use that as a layer. Anyway, that is it for now, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.